Hello, 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 friends. How are you? Welcome to my channel, Simply Sophia. So today we will be in the kitchen. Uh, we will be making one of my favorites, and I think it's a favorite of many. I'm not alone. A vegan mac and cheese. So before you run off and click off, it's tasty. It's it's delicious. I promise you, it's so good. And actually, we won't be making a mac. We'll be making the mac and cheese, but we will be making more of the sauce. So you can use this sauce as for the mac for the pasta. You can use it on as a dip. Um, you can use it as a spread it's basically a cheesy spread that you can use everywhere so come along with me and uh, let's make it together okay so let's get started so really simple quick and easy cheesy sauce so the first thing we're going to do is get our cashews and these cashews have been soaking overnight so they're nice and soft I don't need to test them they're pretty much been soaking they split apart really easy and that's what I want so the first thing you're gonna do take the cashews that have been soaking and you're gonna strain out that water you're not gonna use any of that water I'm gonna strain it out and then we're going to rinse it all right, so once we rinse those cashews, we're gonna put them in our blender. So we have them in our blender. Then we're gonna add our water. All right, my water is a little yellow because it has nutritional yeast. The bottle was finishing up, so I just picked up the pieces of nutritional yeast bottle, put the water in there, just to make use of what I could. All right, so we're going to go ahead and add my paprika. And I'm gonna go ahead and add my salt. They're sticking. I'm gonna go ahead and add my lemon juice. And then lastly, I'm gonna add in my nutritional yeast. Okay, add in the turmeric last. All right, so let's blend this. I'll be right back and you'll see the consistency. Oh, so we're gonna blend it for a half a minute. Okay, I'm checking it in at the half minute and I see it's not the consistency where I need it. We want it to be creamy, rich. You can see it's a little bit texture, so we're gonna add a little bit more water. All right, and I'll be right back. Okay, so let's check back in. Now, look at that. Look at yours. How does yours look? Is, is yours looking like how mine is looking? All right, let's take this lid completely off. Maybe here. Well, let's just pour it out and see in, but I can see it that it's really creamy. Oh, here's a spoon. There we go. There you go. That's what you want. There's our sauce. All right, so let's pour it out. That is the consistency you should have. Let's pour it out in this bowl and add our finishing, tu finishing touches. Okay, so we have everything from our blender in a bowl. Last thing we're gonna add is in our turmeric. And we're gonna mix this in just gently. Oh my gosh, that looks so good already. And what turmeric does is give, it, give our dip slash sauce its color. I think you call it dip sauce and cream all at the same time but it gives us that cheesy color that we need and also seasoning 
Now I'm gonna give it a taste, just make sure it has, it's not missing anything. And uh, let's see. Oh my gosh, it's perfect. Oh my gosh, perfect. Okay. Okay, it's so delicious. So what we're gonna do now is gonna add our creamy sauce to our pasta that we made. Again, you can use it on anything. So this is, what we made is our foundation sauce. This is our foundation cheese sauce. So you can add it to anything, but you can also um, add more seasonings, which we're gonna do now because we're gonna use it in pasta. So we're going to add a little bit more flavoring to our foundation to make it come alive in our pasta sauce. Okay. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna add to our cheese base. Okay, so here is our cheese base. Now I have plans for this particular base, so I'm gonna add, I'm probably going to most likely just use it in pasta for the moment and maybe a topping on my eggs so I'm going to add a little bit of cumin I'm gonna add some black pepper I'm gonna add some garlic powder and now this is not obviously not oregano this is not oregano this is actually dried peppers from my garden that i've dried and made my own seasoning so you can use if you like spicy a little bit of kick to your food you can add a little bit of maybe jalapenos to this or um, any pepper seasoning so i'm going to top this on my pasta but this is what i want in my pasta sauce so I'm going to go ahead and add those and you can switch up and add any other seasonings depending on what you're going to use with your cheesy sauce and I'm going to give it another give it a try oh my gosh so delicious oh my gosh so delicious all right so I'm going to now add it to the pasta okay here is my pasta so I'm just gonna add a few spoons of our delicious sauce oh my goodness Ooh, it looks so good all right I hope you're making this right now and you can taste what I'm tasting. Goodness, I think I added too much, but that's okay. It's literally like a cheese sauce. Now you can add this in a bigger portion, meaning add it to the, uh, a bigger container. I just like to mix it in the bowl that I'm about to enjoy. You can also heat it up before you add it to your pasta. The pasta is pretty much warm. Alright, look at that already. Let me put it in the light. Wait, can you see? Okay, here it is. There go our cheesy sauce. With no cheese. But it tastes like that. It tastes like it's, it has a very cheesy flavor because of the nutritional yeast is what brings that cheesiness in or cheesiness flavor. Nutritional yeast has a lot of, it's a good source of vitamins, particularly B vitamins. So B vitamins you normally get in meat. So you're getting a lot of, um, you're getting a lot of, of the B vitamins you need that would replace if you were to eat meat. So even if you're so even if you're not a vegetarian, you would enjoy this recipe. 
uh, you would really enjoy it. I'm actually, last thing I'm going to do is just add a little bit of that red um, pepper uh, flakes that I made from um, my garden peppers and I'm going to just dig in. And I'm also going to add some fresh oregano. Okay. Okay. So we're going to give it a try. It's so delicious. Just want to put everything in there. Mm. Oh my goodness, it's so good. You won't even miss, you will not miss real cheese. You will definitely be fooled. It's so good. <laughs> it's so good. So you get that satisfaction of having something cheesy. Okay, so that's what we're having for dinner. Now, what to do with all this, right? So what I like to do is get a glass container and you basically can store it. So I'll pour, I'll actually pour this in a new glass since I made um, this batch yesterday or two days ago. So I'm gonna pour the new batch into a separate container. And of course use this first first in first out so and but you can store this up to a week make sure it's airtight and it will store well you can also freeze it in a glass jar it will not um, the glass will not burst you can freeze it or freeze it in a ziploc bag whatever you like but it will last a long time it's so delicious I think I may even add some basil leaves I have here They're already washed. Um, add some of that basil to my pasta. One dead one here. Yes. So, yeah, that is it. Okay, so that is it for our vegan cream, our vegan cheesy sauce. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you make it. If you do, get down in the comments. If you are, try this recipe and you're not vegan and you enjoyed it, drop down in the comments. If you haven't made it and you just watched this video, let me know what you think. Would you even try it or, um, yeah, or what would you use it with other than pasta? So thank you for watching this video. Hit that like button. I'll give you a minute. Well, not a minute. I'll give you five seconds. So give me a like. Thank you for that. And subscribe. There'll be more to come. Uh, more videos if you like this about food, health, overall wellness, and self-care. Then this is the channel for you. Welcome. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.